2023 elections comes with a lot of innovations and a new voters' uh, demography. Right from 1999, since the return of uh, democracy, this election seems to be a paradigm shift from what we used to know as a nation, as a people. For the first time, we'll have an election that is giving us a third force, a third force in the form of another candidate that is different from the two major contenders we used to know before. And that candidate is coming with a, what, a new face to the elections. One good thing about the junior interior election is that we'll have a chunk of new set of voters. If some analysts have even postulated that the junior interior election will be determined by the youth. And to lead credence to this, the new voters register shows that about 12 million new voters have been added to the existing voters register. And most of these new voters are majorly under taxes, which they are majorly youth. One good thing we will notice is that in this year elections, new things are coming in. And for us as a people and as a nation, we must understand that this year election tends to provide a new paradigm shift from what we used to know in our election experience. So we are calling on all political actors to play by the rule. We should, they should make sure that unguarded statement that can eat up the already tensed quality should be avoided. Their followers should also be very guarded in what they say and how they react. And one thing we should notice is that we all have a nation to, to live in. As the winners have, need a nation to govern, also the runners up also need a nation to live in. So one thing every Nigerian should know is that on 2023, for whoever will win the election, we must remember that Nigeria must win. The last line. Thank you so much, Suleiman, for that. Uh, the last line says Nigeria must win. So whichever way. And they say politics is a game, right? But of course, um, it's very important for us to realize after we finish playing the game, um, we, we must be very conscious of who we want to win. Do we want um, some political leaders to win in terms of um, trying to bring in their own um, self-driven policies you know, for their pockets? But if Nigeria loses, because, I mean, it's possible for the person that is going to come in to win, but Nigeria will lose. And we must ensure that whoever comes in, it doesn't matter who comes in, we must win. And Nigeria winning means that the economy goes forward, means that all the sectors are working, means that um, people don't have to think about relocating. People have start thinking about penetration, which is how can I take my idea from Nigeria to Ukraine? How can I take my idea from Nigeria to, to Moscow, you know, to, to Japan? And not the idea of how can I escape from this place called hell, right? Because things are not working. So Nigeria winning for me means that everything that is not working right now, as it were, we begin to work. Okay. Political candidates should use every opportunity to el ed educate, enlighten, and sensitize the masses mm -hmm. on their various manifestos and various plans for the country, rather than focusing on hatred, hate speech, and bitter form of campaigning amongst themselves. No, we have a very immature, uh, it's a very immature system. The people, it's incredibly immature. Go on. You're looking for this. It's disturbing to me. Yeah, mm, to yeah. see men, you know, people of, um, at this level Fathers. behaving, grandfathers behaving, it's mm, like, what, like what, what, what is going on, you know. Mm. And Suleiman, you know, I have, a, I have a grasp with you. You say Nigeria must win. <laughs> win what? <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria has <laughs> lost already. Win the World this, Cup. This is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst we have been in maybe since. In, this is the worst. This has never been this bad. Mm. This is the worst. It has been. It's never been this bad. So I think we, we, we may have lost um, the last battle. Mm. So um, I believe that. I, I love his, his, his optimism. He's such an optimistic guy. You know, you can see the future. Maybe because he's in Abuja. He's yeah. very close to <laughs> <laughs> You know. Really yeah. so, maybe, so maybe we're going to win subsequent battles from now. You know, but like you said, the key really is if we do not win this battle that's coming up mm. in the next dispensation, man. We might not, we, we might, 
not that we, we, we're done, we're done for good. Though. We, we might get to come back, we might get to like, you know, get another chance. Mm -hmm. But how much longer do we have to wait? See how mm -hmm. long we waited mm -hmm. this time around. Mm -hmm. See how the long we will pay waiting will See be how long it has taken. Mm -hmm. No killings, mm -hmm. deaths. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. So Country is a mess. Yeah. I think I think you know, you know, uh, just on a lighter note, yeah. even if we lose the World Cup, it's not as important as losing the seat of power, we Nigerians. Mm. So yeah, if we, do, if we lost, if the we had lost, to go, we it, didn't lose the World Cup. No, okay, we have lost not. We can't even. We can't even <laughs> okay, no, we should be more concerned about we Nigerians winning the seat of power. Right. I mean, Nigerians winning the seat of power in Asu Rock. Yeah. We're putting someone that we know yeah. will spearhead us in the right way. Yeah. Then we can worry about winning the World Cup. <laughs> Subsequently, <laughs> you're right, man. But, 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 but really, us. really, I'd like to push it back to Suleiman. I'm mean, Suleiman, if you're still there with us. Um, Sami Said asked a question, what, what yeah. do you want us to win? Uh, maybe you want to throw in light, do you have a strategy for us to win? And what does winning mean for you as a Nigerian? Okay, um, thank you. Uh, what I mean by Nigerian must win is this. You see, um, quite all right, it is only, well, um, it won't be, uh, nice to say that uh, we don't have challenges. Yeah. We have a lot of numerous challenges we are going through as a people and as a nation. As we said um, in one of our um, advocacy uh, the, the past weeks, one thing you will look at is this. From 2023, one thing is that politicians are here to win elections. And who really feel the brunt of bad leadership mm -hmm. is every Nigerian you want to be with, you know. Now, good road good electricity, the basic infrastructures of life we could think of, can only be enjoyed in an atmosphere of peace. So I will be advocating that whatever you do, politicians must not uh, eat up the quality to the extent that the, uh, the, 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 uh, the peace we enjoy as a people and as a nation will, all, will, be, uh, will, will be gone. So what I mean by Nigeria must win is that we must make sure all political actors, that is the politicians themselves, their supporters, and all the stakeholders as far as election is concerned, must put the interest of Nigerian at heart. Nigerian winning means is that Nigeria must make sure that there must not be really or post election violence. People must not lose their life. People must not also lose their livelihood. That is what we mean by Nigerian must win. Whoever win the election, so be it. That is the winner should be magnanimous in victory. While also the loser should look it at um, the uh, outcomes and the yearnings of people. So that is what I mean by Nigeria must win. Nigeria must remain one and Nigeria must be safe. If we do that, it means Nigeria has win. Interesting. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's fair enough. Yeah. That's fair enough. I, I just do hope that our politicians pretty much understand, you know, what do they call it in football again? Sport, sportmanship. Sportsmanship. You know, yeah. I mean, I understand that that you lost the election doesn't mean that you lost the country. You know, I think there's something that Jimmy said many years ago. I mean, ha, Jimmy had constantly come out, you know, for the Jimmy um, yeah, yeah, for the Lagos State um, governorship ticket. And there was a certain year, I'd forgotten the exact year that he didn't win. And it asked, so what are you going to do? Jimmy said, well, I will just, um, you know, be in the background, keep supporting, keep contributing um, to the development of Lagos State. And there are many things to do, pretty yes. much. So it's not, you don't, you, again, it's, it saddles me or it's, um, it appalls my heart to, to see that people only believe that they can make a change becoming the precedent, right? I mean, there are several other things that, so that you lost the election, like, you know, um, Suleiman has said, doesn't mean that you've lost the country. There's an opportunity for you to serve with the person who is now going to become the president, and how do you Even if it's much, your political adversary. Even if it's your political adversary. I think that's the conversation. Don't sabotage his government. We're not ready we for that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ready for that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so it's important for every Nigerian out there to realize that we must win. And collectively, winning begins with um, you getting what it requires for you to perform your most civic responsibility. And I'm asking you, have you gotten 
your voters card are you going to vote in the coming elections if you don't have it it's a good time to make out time but deliberate be intentional about winning um, in 2023 um, we've saved the best <laughs> for the last and the final lap is coming on just after the break we're gonna have the phenomenal Elijah Felix and he's gonna be talking about um, sustenance and decorum in the governance and of course the politicking and how sustainability um, is going to become a political choice and not a technical one so join us after the break